Guys, my name is Marissa, also known as Homemaking with Marissa on YouTube as well as on Instagram. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you through my 10 item capsule wardrobe for the fall of 2020. This is a concept that I recently learned about in a book written by Jennifer L. Scott or the Daily Connoisseur here on YouTube where she talks about her experience living in Paris and the simplicity of the wardrobe that they use there and her implementing that when she came back to the United States. I previously have had a wardrobe. I have a pretty small closet, so I've never had a gigantic walk-in closet stuffed with clothing, but even this small closet that I have was filled to the gills with clothing and a lot of stuff that I just wasn't utilizing. I felt like I would look at my closet every day and not really know what to wear. Since implementing the 10 item capsule wardrobe, I have noticed that my morning routine has been drastically simplified. I will link in a card above the video that I made for my summer capsule wardrobe if that's something that you're interested in watching as well. I want to address the lighting in this video because it very likely will be dark. I'm going to try to brighten it when I'm editing it, but I'm not really sure how the quality is going to turn out. I live in Oregon. For those of you that don't know, there are massive wildfires going on right now. The air quality in my particular area has been considered hazardous for over a week, and it kind of always looks dusk outside. So there's just no sunlight. It smells like a campfire when you go outside. The air quality is just absolutely horrendous. In my description box down below, I am going to leave a link if you would like to contribute to the Red Cross and make a donation for all the people that have been impacted in Washington, Oregon and California by wildfire. The first item in my 10 item wardrobe is this top that came from American Eagle. This is a tunic, I think that they call it their jegging, jegging sweaters. So it's intended to be worn with leggings or with jeggings. I like to pair it on a day where I know that I am not going to be doing a whole lot with just a pair of leggings. If I feel like being a little bit more comfortable or wear something that's a little bit more laid back, I gravitate towards things like this. They look more polished and put together than wearing workout clothes or wearing just a pair of sweatpants. So I just think that it looks a little bit more put together, but it's still very comfortable. This particular item came this season from American Eagle. They do currently have them in stock. I would recommend, I am wearing this in a size medium, which is my normal size. You can see that the the arms are really loose fitting. So if you're between sizes, I would definitely size down in this particular outfit. Next is another tunic style sweater. This came from Nordstrom Rack. I found that this season, this is another item that I would definitely size down in. I ended up getting this in a size small and I'm never a size small. So definitely these run oversized. I liked it because it had a really fitted sleeve. It had this detail in the front with this exposed stitching. And then it also had these cutouts on the side, which I like. This is very soft and I liked that it was in this deep purple color. I would pair this with a pair of jeans or a pair of leggings. My third item is also a sweater. This is not long enough to wear with a pair of leggings, so I will only be pairing this with dark wash or black denim jeans. I liked that it had this detail on the sleeve where it was puffed, but then form fitting on the arm with a large cuff and came in at the bottom. I just thought that this was going to be a really nice structured sweater. I liked that it was in this blush pink color. I think that that's perfect transition into fall, but it is 
thick enough that it will definitely keep me warm when the weather starts getting a little bit cooler. The next item is this green dress. This came from JCPenney. This was in their clearance section. Right now, I did a full shop with me video where I was shopping for some of these items for my fall wardrobe and I discovered that there are a lot of things that are very heavily discounted right now. A lot of stores are trying to get rid of items from last year. They were closed down in a lot of areas at the beginning of the year because of COVID, so they weren't able to get rid of the items that were from fall and winter of last year, so they're really seriously discounted this year. Um, I don't think I mentioned, but this sweater came from Macy's. It's the Alfani brand. I think this was something like $70 original price, and I got it for $9. So if you're trying to update your wardrobe for this year, I would definitely look at the clearance sections at your local department stores and see what they still have available from last year. This particular dress, I really liked this green color. I thought that it would transition nicely into winter. It's a three quarter length sleeve. It comes in at the waist, which is nice. And then it had this gold exposed zipper on the back, which I just thought was a really nice detail. I do wear things like this when I'm working from home, just when I'm hanging out around the house, I do wear dresses. I find that dresses are such an easy outfit. It's a complete outfit. You don't have to think about what pants am I gonna wear with this. Uh, you don't, it's just simple. You just pick out a dress and you're good to go. You look very put together. I always get comments when I go out in public and I'm wearing a dress that I look really dressed up or people will ask if I just got off work. No, I, I work from home currently and I find that it's probably one of the easiest outfits to put together, but looks like you really put in a lot of effort, even though you didn't. Next is this dress that came, I think that I got this maybe two years ago from Target. So this is not something that's still available, but again, it's just another dress that has some fun details. So it's got this bell sleeve. It has this lace around the neck. It's cinched in at the waist and has a flowier skirt at the bottom. I find that this dress is really comfortable and Target always has stuff like this. This came I don't even know maybe they don't still carry this brand I I don't know that's the the brand name I did get this in a size large these run more like junior clothing so if they do still carry this brand at Target I would definitely recommend sizing up in it it does have this really cute rose gold button on the back which I liked Next is this dress that came from Amazon. This is just a wrap dress. It's long sleeved. You can cinch in the waist as tight as you need to with the tie. And this is something, again, it's really easy to get dressed in the morning. It's just one piece. And I liked this blue floral detail. I thought that that was going to be a nice piece for transitioning into fall. I will link this dress in the description box down below because it is still currently available on Amazon's website. I will say this is the Lark and Row brand. I got this in a size large. Here's the deal with these dresses. They have a ton of different patterns and they come in a variety of sizes, but the pricing is very weird. So this, this dress, the exact same dress with the same pattern was $45 in the size medium and it was $15 in the size large. So I figured that I can just cinch the waist tighter if I need to, but I was gonna make the large work for that big of a price difference. That's the only thing that's kind of funky about these. I would, 
I would look at the different patterns and then you could even switch the sizes and for whatever reason there's various price points depending on pattern and uh, and size. I have found it because I went back to see if they had them in any other patterns that I like that the prices change all the time. I, I don't know what the pricing deal is with this dress but I do like it. It's very thick. It is a high quality dress. This will last I think for multiple years and at $15 is a really great bargain. This dress, this is a chambray dress that I got at JCPenney's. For those of you that watched my shop with me video, I was talking about my dilemma with trying to find a chambray dress and I shopped all over and this was just the best that I could find. I think that this was maybe around $20 and it has a collar, it has a cinch waist. I was trying to find a dress that had pockets. This does not have pockets, uh, but otherwise I, I felt like it fit well. You can cinch the waist to make it tighter if you need to. It's really breathable, it's comfortable, and it's something that I really wanted to find to add to my fall wardrobe for this year. Next is got it kind of tied up here but it's this long floral dress I really like the pattern on this dress this came from Target it's the a new day brand I got this last year or maybe the year before they do have something that's similar on Amazon so I'll link that down below but they don't have this particular dress I liked this because it was short sleeves so if it's a fall day and it's a little bit warmer, I won't be too hot by wearing some of these longer sleeved items. Oregon weather is kind of weird where in the fall, sometimes it, it's really hot and sometimes it's cold and rainy. You never really know what you're gonna get year to year in the fall season. So I like to have a variation of things that are long sleeve, things that are short sleeve, things that are three quarter length, things that are thicker, thinner, just so that I've got enough options that I don't feel like I'm limited or that I'm gonna be uncomfortable because of the climate. Next is this shirt that came from J. Jill. I think this came from J. Jill. Yeah, J. Jill. It has these buttons in the back, which I thought were really cute. They're exposed. It's just a nice blush pink t-shirt that I thought that I would get a lot of use out of with jeans. I liked all the lace detail. I've talked about this before and at the end of the video I will go through my extras. I ordinarily I don't consider t-shirts part of my 10 core items. But this one I decided to include because it was a little bit higher quality. It is lace and it's not just a plain basic t-shirt. The final item is another sweater. It's just this plain white long sleeve sweater. It's got some detail on the top and then a line, a seam that goes across the waist. It also has these buttons, which I thought were cute. This is something that I can pair with leggings or something that I can wear with jeans. I don't normally buy things that are white, but I really liked this. I thought that it was going to be a cute piece. I picked it up at Talbot's. It was on the clearance section. I do think that it's from last year's line. So it was pretty seriously discounted when I bought it which was why I was able to justify buying something that was white, even though with three boys, I am a little bit nervous about how this is going to fare. Uh, but I thought that it was gonna be a nice, comfortable piece. So I decided that that would be the 10th item for my wardrobe. In the book, she talks about how you have 10 core items. So these items are gonna be my core items, but then you also fill it in with extras. Your whole wardrobe doesn't just consist of these 10 items. For me, extras would include outerwear, special occasion dresses, t-shirts, denim, and leggings. I also have some basic tank tops, cardigans, 
camisoles, things like that would all fall into the category of extras. And they just kind of are used to accentuate some of these core items. This is not meant to be really restrictive. I think that it's perfectly fine if you're just getting started. If you want to have 20 items, that's fine. As long as there's some sense of intentionality and thought that goes into the items that you're picking, making sure that everything goes well together and creates a cohesive wardrobe. The entire point of this is to really get in touch with what your personal style is and also to make sure that you're not buying a bunch of extra things that you don't need just because you see them and you think they're cute, but you don't necessarily know what you're going to pair them with. You just bought it on a whim. By having this type of capsule wardrobe, you're being very intentional with the purchases that you're making and you're only shopping once per season, which is a key for me. I had a problem of popping into Target and I would see a top that was cute. So even though I didn't know necessarily what I was going to wear with, I would just buy it because I thought it was cute. I don't do that anymore. I go one time per season and I buy things that are going to complement the other items in my wardrobe for that particular season. I also find that because you're switching your clothes out once every season, you're not getting bored with things. By the time I started to get bored with my summer wardrobe, it was time to start shopping for fall. It was time to start looking at different textures and colors that would go and be more appropriate with the fall season. So I didn't feel like I was bored with my clothes or I was missing out on any sort of shopping opportunities. And I've also found that it's really good for my budget because I'm not just buying things on a whim. For extras, I picked up two of these hair scrunchies from Target. They came in a two pack. They were $10. I have not been getting my hair cut regularly since all of the lockdowns. I've only gotten my hair cut once this year. And for those of you that have been following me for a while, I did have a shorter A-line haircut when I first started YouTube. And that requires a lot of maintenance. You have to get your hair cut pretty regularly to maintain that style. And I've just found that it's not really working well in this current climate. So I have been growing my hair out a little bit and decided that if I was going to have longer hair, I could take advantage of being able to speed up my morning routine and put it in a ponytail some days. I don't particularly like just plain ponytails for me personally. So I thought that I would kind of fancy them up a little bit with these hair scrunchies. They're in this silky material. They have this ribbon that hangs down. It just makes it look like even though you're wearing your hair in a ponytail, it looks a little bit more put together. I thought that both of these colors would really complement the items that are in my 10 item wardrobe. The only color that I would like to find, if I could find a pack that had navy blue and black, I might pick that up as well but I didn't see anything like that when I was at Target. So I might look on Amazon. If you have any recommendations of places where I can find just plain navy or black scrunchies that look like this and have a little bit of a ribbon detail, go ahead and comment that down below. So for bottoms, I have plain leggings. These are Spanx brand leggings, which, yeah, this is, these are the, the ones that I get, just the regular Spanx. These are ready to wow. Uh, they came from Nordstrom Rack. Spanx leggings are pretty pricey. These can run, I think that they're close to $100 for a pair of leggings, which is pretty steep. I have found them for a better deal at Nordstrom Rack. So if you have a Nordstrom Rack in your area, I would look there and see if you can find the Spanx brand leggings at a better price point. It just happened, but the Nordstrom anniversary sale typically has some sort of deal on Spanx leggings. And then Kohl's actually has a brand that is, they're made by Spanx, but it's a lower price point. So that's also an option if you're looking for something that's a little bit more budget friendly but I find that they're not as sheer as some other 
lower price point leggings. They don't pill like a lot of leggings do. I've had these leggings for probably five years and they're still in great shape. So even though they are a little bit more expensive, they do last for a really long time. Next is a pair of dark wash jeans. These came from American Eagle. I try to find my jeans at American Eagle because they have extra short length online. I am only five foot tall, so you can see these are extra short and I still roll them. When you're more petite, it can be very hard to find denim that's the appropriate length. When you get them altered, sometimes they just look weird because the knee is way too far down on your leg because they're intended for people that are taller. So I do like that American Eagle offers them in an extra short length and they always run sales on their jeans so you can find them for a really affordable price point. Final pair of bottoms is just a pair of black jeans. These came from Target. I think they're the Ma... Uh, these are universal thread. They're just plain black jeans. I will wear these probably until the end of the year. I think that I will wear them for fall and maybe winter before I replace these. These were really affordable. They come in a short length, but I'm gonna try to see if I can find a pair on American Eagles website. These are starting to get a little bit faded, but I think that they're in fine enough shape to last for this season. My basic tops. So for basics, I have two tank tops. I have a burgundy tank top and a black tank top. These both came from Target. They are the A New Day brand. I got these last year. They're just kind of a knit material. They have a slit on the side, which I like. The only problem is that I didn't try these on. I just bought them off the rack and they are a size large and are, I should have gotten these in a medium because the armhole is way too long and my bra shows, so I can't wear these without wearing a cardigan over the top. That's the only, the only downside to those. I would say that they definitely run true to size, uh, though I'm, they're really affordable and just making do with them. Even though if I, if I had that purchase to do over again, I would definitely buy them in a medium, which is, like I said, that's my true size. These cardigans, I have this cream colored cardigan. This came this year from Target. It's the Universal Thread brand. It has really nice long sleeves that I like to roll up has these big cozy pockets. This is a really nice thick sweater. I like to pair it with a pair of jeans and those basic tank tops. I also got it in this rust color. And again, these are just very cozy, very comfortable for just a laid back day around the house. But I also feel like they look really presentable if you are going to be leaving the house you still look pulled together and like you put some effort into your outfit. Next I want to talk about undergarments. I have two slips that I will wear underneath some of my dresses. I typically wear the black slip underneath that Amazon dress because I got it in a size large it is a little bit deep in in the the V of the neckline. So I don't like feeling exposed. I, I just like to stay a little bit more conservative, stay covered up. And so I will stick on one of these slips underneath. You can't see it, but it's kind of a silky fabric. These came from Target. They're really affordable and they have adjustable straps in the back. So you can tighten them or loosen them up depending on how long you want them to be. I just have a black and a nude slip and we're gonna get real personal here and talk about bras that I recommend. These bras come from Amazon, which seems like a really weird place to buy a bra, 
but these are so comfortable. They have no underwire. They give you good lift. There is nothing like super attractive about these bras, but they're very functional and they're very affordable. These are around $20, which depending on where you buy undergarments, sometimes they can be incredibly expensive. And I swear by these bras. I learned about these from Jen Reed, the sister studio on Instagram. She said that, what does she say? They're like a, a pillow for, <laughs> I don't know, like a cloud. I don't know what she does. Whatever the case, these are great bras. And again, I will have these linked in the description box down below if you want to check them out. I have a black one and a nude one. I find that because there's no underwire and there's not a lot of detail that these look really smooth underneath your clothing and are definitely a must. I am pretty busty so I would recommend if for between sizes I would go up. I am typically a 36D and I have this bra in a size large for size. The thing that I want to talk about is outerwear. There are a ton of deals right now on really high quality, nice outerwear. This was an area that was pretty lacking in my wardrobe. I had had this black jacket that I had been wearing for years. It was really faded. It didn't fit properly. And I just hadn't made it a priority to invest in a new black outerwear jacket. This came from Macy's. It's a Calvin Klein brand. It cinches at the waist. It has some nice button details in this turtle colored button. I like that it's belted. This is, it has a hood. It's just checking all the boxes. This is also waterproof, which is key in Oregon. And I think that I will get a ton of use out of this item. This was severely discounted on Macy's website. I want to say that I found this for under $50 and normally I think it's around $150 when it's full price. So if you are looking for quality outerwear that's going to last for years to come, I would see what kind of discounts are currently available online. Next jacket that I found came from Talbot's. This said it was $159, but they were having a sale where everything was an extra 60% off. So this is another jacket that I think will last for years to come. It has these button details in again, the tortoise pattern on the buttons. It has a really nice collar and is belted. The only thing that I wish this jacket had was a hood, but I think that because it's this camel lighter color, I probably wouldn't wear it in the rain much anyway, though it is waterproof. So that was something that I think that I'll get a lot of use out of for years to come. And the final jacket that I'm going to talk about is in this army green color. I always cuff the sleeves. This came from Forever 21. So I wouldn't always discount that fast fashion is off the table. I've had this jacket for probably five years. I think that it was maybe $20 and I've gotten a ton of use out of this. I have worn the life out of this thing and will continue to wear it this year too. It's hooded, it has a cinch waist, it has these pockets that are nice. I will just stick this on over the top of a sweater and a pair of leggings and I feel like I look put together and it's also highly functional with the hood. If you do any sort of 10 item or capsule wardrobe, go ahead and comment below what your favorite items are to wear in the fall. And finally, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the red subscribe button and join my little YouTube community. I hope that you're all staying happy and healthy.